Yo, 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 what's up, everyone? It's Robot Wars here with today another RuneScape video. So, today a new update has been released, and you can see a talk at Wars Retreat. So, basically, I think it's called Talk Smashing Buffs. What this means, you have buffs for PV Namin. All you have to do to activate it, although this does not work if you're an Iron Man player, this only works for main accounts. Iron Man players, I think the only thing they get is they can go choose that so reaper assignment more on that later to start off we're gonna talk to doc so basically just just gonna skip to the dialogue i think now we should be good because then we can drink from those cauldrons. We can open the event here. You can actually see what you got here. Free that. Sign of life. T4 luck. Sir Reaper. Slayer task. And combat hours. But I will go over all of that very, very soon. So you don't know the even. You don't need. Oh, you, uh, I can talk. You don't need overloads anymore until the October 8th. After talking talk, you can just drink from the outer overload. Calvin Boom. One hour out of overload, run fire potion, super nail potion, and anti potion for one hour, and then you just drink from it again. Also, Aura's day will reset, so basically, you can use the entire day you marriage at Aura, what I think is pretty cool. So, drops are not increased, keep that in mind. Actually, let's do an instant account rule. What is increased though, is just like you saw the overloads. That costs aren't, yeah, not that they are much anyways, but that costs are currently not there. If you die, you just respawn on the hop and nothing happened, basically. Unless you're in hardcore Iron Man, then I would avoid dying at our cost. Besides that, Members, when they die, they respawn Nerby at the hub instead of at that office. I mean, makes sense, I suppose. Also, the sign of life automatically act when activate when you go to a bank, they automatically refresh. So, if you if you were to sign anywhere and you go back to a bank, your sign will automatically refresh. Although, keep in mind, you do need the skill cape defense perk for that. But once you max, I think, at least for me, any cape basically has the box, so you should be alright. Also, somehow, even if you're not wearing a TV, T4 win lock, although I would first talk to talk just in case. Um, you automatically have T4 luck, even without the rain, even without the swords. I mean, I have always the outscout, the um, relic, the relic active, so I will keep it active. But that is order, yeah, otherwise I just forget to turn it back on and then I miss out on drops. Oh, damn. <clears throat> yeah, we good, we good. Anyways, also nice is then the the Soul Reaper assignment. You can co choose your Soul Reaper assignment. Ah oh, damn, I unlucky. And also you get double points for it. Iron Man can choose the Soul Reaper assignment, but they will not get double points for it. So I mean they always limit Iron Man's with these events. So I get that. Also, the com all combat hours will reset after using them, like I said before. So I can basically use Marajad non-stop if I wanted to. So I'm really happy with that, because Marajad just is a 5% damage increase. It's gonna hurt. So yeah, that's pretty good. Slayer Masters also. You can choose between true Slayer Task, you could always, but it will not cost Slayer VIP tickets that it usually do. So that's pretty nice. 
If you wanna do Slayer, that is. Yeah, I kinda knew that was gonna happen. Yeah, I think I pretty much talked about any everything there is. I don't think I missed anything for once. Yeah, I don't think I did. So yeah, are you happy with this or are you more like, why do they do this again? Okay, I thought that was unique, but they're still good. Uh, I think it's pretty cool that they, they, they do this. I mean, it's like, it promotes bossing. And yeah, like you see, I'm actually doing next right now. <laughs> Never done solo next before, but necromancy made it possible. Anyways, let me know. Let me know in down in the comments what you think. Oh, I don't need to overload again. What you think? Do you like this? I personally, I mean, I really like like the free overloads and stuff. I mean, it's nice, but at the same time, it's a bit controversial. I think. I mean, they don't boost you luck on getting drops, so if you look at it that way, I think it's fine. And not forever, just until October 8th for everyone. Or yeah, for every main account. I mean, I guess I it's fair they don't do it for Iron Man, because yeah, you're an Iron Man, so you basically didn't want those buffs. Kind of like. Um, yeah. Or maybe you want it, but yeah. Iron Man and Forley are not getting these buff. So let me down know in the comments if you like this, if you don't like it, perhaps. And yeah. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like down there. I really appreciate it if you do. If you haven't subscribed already to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you do so. We're really close to 300 subscribers now. So that's pretty hype. And I have, wherever you are, I hope you all have a great day. And thank you a lot for watching. And yeah, until next time. Thanks for watching.